Welcome back to Extra Holiday Games. I'm Extra Holiday, and I was giving life advice last time. Which, uh, I mean, you can probably take with a grain of salt, given uh, my own position in life. Um, not exactly... Not exactly Jeff Bezos. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. But hey, you know what? I got my ideas, regardless. And that's something that you should always keep in mind, is even even someone who seems wildly unqualified to make an argument can still have good points. Right? That's a fallacy that people tend to fall for quite often is, oh, you're not, you don't know as much in this, uh, about this field as I do or someone else does. So clearly you can't be correct. But hey, you know what? Even if you're just guessing at something, sometimes you get it right. <laughs> right? Like, if you asked me, you know, if you ask, if you've got a jar of jelly beans, a classic example, if you've got a jar of jelly beans, and nobody knows how to, the actual, any sort of method for actually figuring out how many jelly beans there are in there. Um, but if, and you ask, and you go around asking people, you know, you ask like two million people how many jelly beans are in the jar. Chances are someone's gonna get it right. <laughs> even though, even though they've got no specific method, you know, or any sort of experience in the field, someone is probably gonna get it right, you know? The phrase I like to use is nobody is wrong at all the time. <laughs> And, I th and that definitely applies even when you're referring to a specific person talking about a specific subject. There's always a chance that they're correct. Unless it can be logically proven otherwise. Yeah. It's just a... Just a just but, uh, okay, from the last episode was life lessons, and I guess this episode <laughs> starts with philosophy. Uh, actually, that's logic, not philosophy. Although, philosoph logic is a part of philosophy. I don't know what I'm talking about. Don't listen to me. <laughs> uh, anywho. <laughs> Did you catch the irony there? Did you catch the irony? Uh... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, if you're looking for the specific name of that fallacy, it's argumentum ad hominem. It's, it's you know, instead of attacking the argument, you attack the person's qualifications to make the argument. And yeah, it's it. There's it has no basis in logic. <laughs> so. Yeah. They use it a lot in politics. They're like, oh, okay, well, I mean, you said this about, you know, a, a free college or whatever. You said this about free college or whatever, but um, didn't you have your college paid for? So, like, what would you know? Or something like that. I don't know. No, is that a good example? It's not really a good example. Oh, no, I, you know what? Uh, I'm going to use, I don't like to use real world examples too much when I talk about politics, but hey, here's an example. Uh, one of the common things, one of the common arguments against, well, quote unquote arguments against the election of Joe Biden as president was people thought like, oh, he's old. People were saying like, oh, he's old and senile and he's, he's gonna ruin the country because he's old and senile. And they would use that just anytime it was convenient, you know, in any sort of argument or actual debate, they'd be like, oh, but he doesn't know what he's talking about because he's old and senile. And it's like, well, even old and senile people are correct sometimes. <laughs> so, and again, I'm not, I'm not saying I'm a huge proponent of Biden or a huge proponent of his opponent or any 
anyone in the political system because I can't say I'm a fan of pretty much anyone. Uh, <clears throat> but that's just a, it's just a, probably a better example than the one I gave before. It's like, yeah, you don't know anything because you're dumb. But even dumb people are right sometimes. <laughs> Hell, if they weren't, I'd never be right. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I like to make fun of myself. It's, it's, it's a good time. It's a good time. Hey. Speaking of dumb people, that guy just killed himself. That's pretty dumb. Yeah. Frick. It's fine. Let me just wait. It's very close to me dying to the icicles. Two, three. Nope. Okay. Gotcha. One. Ooh. Motherfucker. <laughs> You're supposed to come out of your shell there. Dick. Oh, hey, update about 50 subscribers special. Actual, actual solid steps have been taken. Progress has actually been made. And there is verifiable proof of this. So, yay. <laughs> We're getting there. <laughs> Oh, uh, again, this is one of those things that, like, nobody's expecting of me, and I'm just expecting of myself. But I've been trying to get this done for so long. <laughs> so it's just... Oh, man, it's so... So incredibly frustrating. Also, the progress that was made isn't, like super directly like it's not guaranteed to be progress if that makes sense you know there's there's a chance that it, it's actually not gonna do much at all but <clears throat> it's you know it's it's something it's something we're getting something out of this uh man i just i just want to just want to just want to get it i just want to get it I've been trying to do this for so long, and I just want to get it. <laughs> uh, everyone else has already done it, and so now it's like, it doesn't seem that original. Ugh. Everyone in that space is taking my, not taking my ideas, but they're, they're coming up with the ideas that I've, with some ideas that I've had. And they're using them, which means that when I do them, they're not going to be as original. And it's fine. It's fine. Truly, well and truly, it's fine. I can't, honestly, can't really do much better than I'm doing. Damn it. That was exactly the wrong time for the bumper to come through. Fine, though we killed him. That is what we need. Okay, let's try. Fuck. Okay, well, now that we're here. Okay, never mind. I was trying to hug the right strat, but that didn't work. I don't know if it's a good strat at all, actually. Now that I'm looking at it, I don't know if I like that strat. I held back. I held back so I didn't actually. And then I died. How oh, wonderful. Yeah. So I was looking, I was just looking at the waveform and I was doing the popping and then I went up, you know. Uh, and it reminded me, I've been trying to get my stream. The the initial idea with my stream is that I wanted to get it to sound like one of these episodes because I'm quite satisfied with how these episodes sound. Uh, 
However, there is this just one minor, very minor thing that I haven't quite sorted out. It's probably the biggest difference, I would say, between how I sound on stream and how I sound here. And that is... <laughs> sounds like that, like that popping or sometimes... Uh, let's see, what, what else is there? It basically, like, sounds that aren't actually me speaking, but, you know, making other noises with my mouth or even other body parts, like hands, you know, clapping and stuff like that. Uh... That all gets caught by the noise gate in <laughs> when I'm streaming. Which is unfortunate because I do like to use those sorts of things to, you know, to, to an effect. But that effect... Oh, I should, should stay from there. Uh, yeah, I, I can't, can't really... I was getting close. It's getting close there. Um, yeah, I, I don't get to do that really on stream because it gets cut out by the noise gate. <laughs> but I do need the noise gate because it it's kind of noisy in here. Now I got feedback coming from like the TV when I'm playing a console game. You know, that's, that's where I hear it. I don't have headphones plugged into the TV or anything, so. Or headphones plugged into the console. Because I, I, just, I just wouldn't. Well, hey, my headphone cords don't really reach that far. And I could make it work. Okay, kind of got a little trapped there. Uh, you know, like, I could make it work. I could get, like, a super long headphone cord or something. But, uh, I, don't, I don't know if that would work. So, for now, we just, we just kind of got to deal with the noise gate, you know? the noise gate cutting stuff out. And, uh, maybe I'll figure it out eventually, but it's not really a high priority of mine. Because... Uh, I mean, it's, it's... It's useful to have, but it's not integral, you know? I got, I got other things that are potentially more worth focusing on when it comes to improving my stream. So yeah, I'm, I'm just I'm just thinking about that. I'm just thinking about that and you know, how to get how to make my stream better. And hopefully, hopefully the stuff I'm doing is actually making it better. Because again, I'm just gonna bring up real quick. You know, I'm not gonna dwell on it, but I'm just gonna bring up. You know, I don't have a lot of people watching, so I don't have a lot of feedback. <laughs> Anywho, um. Also, I noticed someone subscribed as of the day before this recording not on not on any sort of streaming platform not any, on any of the platforms that I stream on but on uh, on this channel specifically so thank you thank you for that uh, appreciate it I hope you enjoy more of my content because presumably you subscribe because you enjoy my content um, feel free to watch more is what I'm saying You know, I don't do that very often because I'm, I, I feel weird about it. It's it feels feels like one of those things that very quickly gets disingenuous. You know, like streamers who have been thanking subs for ten years now. Like, how much do they really feel thankful? Or how much, how much does it really mean when they say, hey, thanks for the sub, you know? And it's like, it, it feels like, honestly, it feels to me like other people using that phrase, you know, those, those specific phrases, like the, the infamous like, comment, and subscribe, uh, that seems to be falling out of favor, favor now. Uh, but stuff like that, you know, if everyone uses it, they kind of, it kind of, kind of loses a little bit of meaning, you know? Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, stun killed me. So yeah, if you like this episode, don't forget, no. 
No, we're not going to do that, and we're not going to do that next time. Because, uh, as for this episode, that's a wrap. But holiday, all the people you idolize do it.